Moving on for now to our other top focus, South Korean President Moon Jae-in arrived for his three-day visit to India. Moon is accompanied by his wife Kim Jong-suk for that visit. Those are the images of uh, the two uh, arriving uh, in New Delhi just a few moments ago. The two countries are expected to discuss the developments aimed at denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Moon Jae-in's visit is expected to forge a new partnership with India and steps that the two countries propose to take to strengthen the special strategic partnership. Moon is also accompanied by senior members of his cabinet. The delegation accompanying him includes officials and industry captains who will be attending the India-Korea Business Forum to be held tomorrow, that's Monday. Various agreements will also be signed during the state visit of Moon Jae-in after his official talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Bilateral, regional and global issues will also be discussed. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the visiting leader will together visit a Gandhi Smriti and a Samsung plant that is located in Noida on Monday. On Tuesday, Moon Jae-in will be accorded a ceremonial reception which will be followed by official talks between him and Prime Minister Modi. The two leaders will also address the Indo Republic of Korea CEO's roundtable on the same day. That's uh, what the lineup of engagements for the South Korean President Moon Jae-in and uh, the delegation accompanying him looks like. Let me go straight across now to our correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, who's joining us for more on this. Siddhant, a uh, lot uh, uh, on agenda when it comes to this uh, crucial visit. This is the first visit by the South Korean President, also coming at a very crucial time uh, in the midst of the process of uh, denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Well, it's a pretty important visit and the first visit by uh, President Moon Jae-in of uh, South Korea. And uh, this uh, visit, uh, primarily the focus will be economics because uh, the President will, uh, uh, will, along with the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, will be at a Samsung plant, which is uh, which will be the largest uh, in the world. Uh, the, uh, the official day of engagement is Tuesday. But uh, uh, one of the main focus will be de denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. And this comes just after that big summit between uh, Donald Trump and uh, 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 the North Korean leader in Singapore, and we also saw the Secretary of State, uh, uh, Mr. Pompeo, uh, who was there in uh, Pyongyang uh, just a day before, and that, of course, will be the focus because India is a major stakeholder there. India has been uh, uh, trying to uh, uh, not only engage North Korea, but uh, uh, tell the world about how uh, this uh, nuclearization issue, denuclearization is an important one. We spoke uh, with the Deputy Foreign Minister and the Ambassador, who both welcomed India's engagement with North Korea. Remember, just a few uh, months ago, India sent its junior Minister in the external affairs ministry, uh, uh, Mr. V.K. Uh, Singh, who received uh, the president of uh, South Korea just uh, an hour ago uh, to North Korea, where they uh, met and held talks. And there was, of course, pressure from the United States when it comes to uh, North Korea before the talks could happen between uh, Donald Trump and a North Korean leader. Uh, U.S. wanted India to uh, shut its embassy down, but India was still... Uh, and said that it will continue with its submission there because that's important for India and if there is some kind of engagement, India can help in it. Uh, so that is why this is important. And there are, of course, linkages which India has been focusing on between uh, Pyongyang and, of course, the nuclear uh, black market by Mr. A.Q. Khan, who, of course, is a, a Pakistani scientist. So that is something that India will be focusing a lot.